Anybody who's been to prison knows that there's a major fucking rule about fucking thievery, right? You don't steal from other fucking inmates or convicts when you're in fucking prison. We call that shit being a selfie, and you will get all the way fucked up for that shit. I mean, on the streets, you could defraud people, you could fucking nab purses, you could break into cars, you could steal cars, you could do any type of fucked up shit. But in prison, the consequences for that shit are real and they are fucking violent. Now, if you want something from a motherfucker, you can get that shit. But there's a proper procedure to go through. Otherwise, nobody is ever going to fuck with you. Nobody's ever going to respect you. You're going to be a fucking pariah. No one will have shit to do with you and you'll do the rest of your time on bitch status. On God, for real. That's how it works. So let's do a quick rundown of what that proper procedure is and a couple stories about dudes getting fucked up for acting fucked up. Now prison is about two things, survival and respect, but you're going to learn really fucking quick that without respect, survival becomes a lot more fucking difficult to navigate. If your word ain't shit in there, then you ain't shit either and nobody's going to fuck with you and you need other people to be able to fuck with because you cannot do prison alone. It just doesn't fucking work. Don't get it twisted. I'm not saying that you need to click up because you absolutely 100% do not. That's not what I'm trying to say. But what I am trying to say is you need to have networks. You need to have connections. You need to have people that will fuck with you. People that will have your back. People that can get you things that you need. All of that is super fucking important to having a decent fucking existence when you're locked up. If you get blacklisted, you are going to do miserable fucked up time in there. There's a few ways that your reputation can go really fucking wrong. You can get marked as a fucking liar, a fucking coward, a fucking cell thief. And cell thieving is one of the worst things that you can get a jacket for in there besides being a rat or a fucking rapist. The basic concept is that Nobody really has shit in there. So if you're going behind a motherfucker's back and stealing from them, hey, that's fucked up, bro. We're all in the same sinking motherfucking boat. Don't be stealing food out of another motherfucker's mouth. B, the other thing, and this is even more relevant, is you're a fucking coward, bro. If you sneak in and steal something behind somebody's back, that's a bitch maneuver and you're a bitch for pulling that shit. The flip to that is you can take anything from any motherfucking man that you want to in there. You just have to follow the proper procedure. You got to go right up to his motherfucking face, give him a chance to square up about it, and take it from him. You got to tell him, bitch, you ain't shit. I'm taking this shit from you, and you ain't going to do a fuck thing about it. Or you can get down with me, but either way, I'm going to fucking bully you. I'm going to punk you out. I'm going to take your shit. Fuck you, bitch. Do something. And honestly, I've seen it go both ways, bro. I've seen dudes bitch the fuck up. I've seen big ass dudes bitch the fuck up. I've seen gang members bitch the fuck up. I've seen dudes with their whole face and head tatted that you thought would be savages and be about some shit bitch the fuck up when it came time to throw some fucking hands for their own fucking shit. But if you don't give them that opportunity, you a punk motherfucker for that, bro, and no one's gonna fuck with you. If they back down from that fucking opportunity to fight for their shit, they're a bitch punk motherfucker and nobody's gonna fuck with them. Look, I remember I was in a fucking dorm and this fucking big fucking black dude and like, I'm not small, bro. I'm a big ass dude, but this dude was big compared to me. Like, he was six foot four and he had probably a hundred fucking pounds on me he was a big motherfucker but he thought that just because he was big he could just operate any type of way man and that's not really how it works bro size don't give you a free pass to do some snake ass shit he went to this little ass fucking white dude shit who had a box full man his parents were taking care of him and he stole some fucking food man and the fucking white kid caught him red handed with his hand in his motherfucking box and he was like yo what the fuck bro you a fucking cell thief now up until this this black dude was very fucking well respected and everybody gave him that fucking respect but as soon as this happened man he didn't have a friend in the world all of a sudden so when this white kid started fucking actually whooping on this dude and giving this dude a good run for his fucking money nobody fucking said shit nobody stepped in everybody was cheering this fucking little ass white kid on and this was not like a predominantly white fucking dorm either man like even this dude's own fucking people were like yo you kind of a bitch bro I hope that little fucking scrawny ass mother fucker whoops on you. In the end, the black dude kind of put a beating on that fucking white kid, man. But the white kid fought for every lick of his life with that dude. And then afterwards, the black dude's own people were like, yeah, 
We don't got nothing for you. Fuck you. We ain't got shit on you, bro. You made us all look weak. There might not be any other issue that I've seen all races stand the same on except this fucking cell thieving shit, man. No one respects that shit. Not a lick and no one wants to be associated with it. You gonna get cut, bro. You gonna be done. There was a dude who pulled some cell thieving shit on a fucking child molester when I was at OSP, right? And he was a gang member and he thought that he could just do whatever he wanted because, yo, fuck this chomo. I'm a fucking gang member, but that's not how you do it. You gotta take it to their fucking face. You gotta punk them the fuck out. Not just sneak in their shit and take their shit from them because that is a fucking cowardly move. So his own people fucking ran up on him and fucking stabbed him too deep, beating the shit out of him and fucking stabbing him on the fucking landing on D-Block. Can you imagine your own fucking homeboys stabbing you over a fucking child molester? But it really wasn't about that. It was about the way he conducted himself. If you conduct yourself like a bitch and you wear the same ink as a motherfucker, they got to protect their fucking reputation because you just shit all across yours. And even the CEOs know what time it is with this cell thieving shit, man. I've seen a CEO run back the fucking video for an inmate who got all of his shit taken, like his whole box, right after fucking canteen, man. Dude went to a fucking call out, came back. He didn't have a fuck thing. He went to the fucking CEO and started fucking asking him to run the video back. The CEO literally went and ran the fucking video back and told him who stole his fucking shit. Now what I I ever go to a CO and talk to him like that about that type of shit? Absolutely fucking not. But this dude had a weird get down anyway. And then he went to the dude who stole his shit confirmed that he stole it by checking in the fucking dude's cell and finding his shit and didn't fight the dude. He took his shit back, but he didn't fight the dude. So the end result of that was nobody fucked with either of those dudes anymore. They were both fucking cut. But I bring that up as an example to let you know that like even the COs understand that in prison or jail culture, if you're thieving, you're a bitch, period. And sometimes using the proper procedure goes way awry as well. I've seen big ass fucking dudes go after little dudes, try to punk them out for their shit and get fucked the fuck up. I've seen gang members go into fucking child molester cells and come out with their whole faces fucked off, bro. And they may have lost that fight. They may not got them soups or that bag of coffee. But when they walked out that door, they still had their fucking respect because they handled things properly. They may have got beat the fuck up by a fucking weirdo or a lame, but they still went in, they fought, they handled things properly, and those lames or that fucking child molester, whoever the fuck it was, they got handled later. A lot of the times, if you go to punk somebody out and you're somebody and you go in on your own and you get fucked up, you're going back at that person two or three deep afterwards. Prison can be a merciless place, but you still have to follow procedure. Now, this isn't exactly cell thiefing, but it's a fun story, so I'm gonna fucking tell it, right? One time, there was a fucking huge search throughout the entire institution. They were going from fucking unit to unit, putting everybody out on the fucking yard, making them fucking sit there, watching them while they went through and searched every every single fucking bunk, right? And there was this dick sucker fucking cop, bro. He was just a complete and total piece of shit. He was always on everybody's leg about every little thing because he was trying to build a name for himself so he could be a fucking sergeant or some shit. But he started taking motherfuckers shit, like their canteen, shit that they bought that was unopened and for no fucking reason throwing it the fuck away. But it would only be certain motherfuckers, like motherfuckers that he perceived as weak, he would fuck with and he would pick on. We got back to my unit. My shit was straight, bro. Like he didn't take a single fucking thing except like my extra towel but there was this dude that nobody really thought was much and he took all of his fucking food and some of his pictures of his family when the fucking dude said who the fuck took my shit the cop said me what are you gonna do about it this cop got two teeth knocked out his fucking head that day and i guarantee you that kid caught a fucking extra charge over that shit did more time over that shit he definitely got roughed up on the way to the fucking hole for that shit but i'll tell you what that dude's fucking reputation his instant institutional fucking reputation is fucking golden after that one bro we all respected the fuck out of him he was like a celebrity so even ceos can get held accountable for that dirt snake ass bullshit man bet watch that shit so hopefully any of you who've never been to jail or prison, don't go. Don't go. It sucks. You don't want to go. But if you do go, now you know one of the main rules. All of you who have been, I'm sure you already know about this rule. If you guys have any cool stories about that, drop it in the comments. If you have any questions, please drop it in the comments. Any suggestions for videos that you want to see, drop that shit in the comments, and I will catch you guys next time. One love.